So, race 37, the penultimate race of the week, and our third Hunter Chase is the Chattersley Corbett Cup over two miles and five furlongs. Banco for Martin Lead and formation for Daniel French. Teasel scores for Davy Ladd, Petrocelli, Mary F. Thomas Rogers, Solway, Delamere for Alex Cherry, Furrow, Stargazer for Martin Leadham, X Hal for Paul O'Neill, Deacon Blues for Derek Hinton along with Watercock Deal, Ballard Delamere for Alex Cherry, Need a Miracle for Paul Rhodes, LB Pius for Thomas Rogers and Glenna Sheen Parks for James Shea. These will be big field here for a hunter. 13 of them. We'll see uh, what happens. See if the old time tunnel's still going here. Chattersley Cobbett. You get to the first of 18. Everyone's over it. A couple of mistakes at the rear. I think by Banco was one of them. And the green soups will be pious. But we're going to be led by Balladella Mare over the second. Nobody gets over it. Although very slow. Petrocelli Mario is a little bit... Uh, Sloppy on landing, but it's water clock deal that's taken it up now. And leads them over the third, jumps it well. And the rest get over it, and it's water clock deal from Ballad de la Mer and Sol Solway de la Mer. And the de la Mer's family from uh, we'll jump the fourth. And it is water clock deal from Ballad de la Mer and Solway de la Mer. And then about three or four back to the all blue silks of formation. The outside of that is X out, LB Pios, Wider Still is Need a Miracle, and then the Green Silks, Red Cap of Glen Sheehan Parks. Teasel scores, the grey there, the only grey in the race as they go over the fifth. We'll get over it. It's David Robertson Horse, as I said. Beware if they drop down into, into a uh, hunter chase. And uh, behind him is Deacon Blues and Banco, the first of Martin Leadham's horses, followed through by his stablemate Furrow Stargazer. The leaders are over the six, as is everybody else. Petrocelli Merrier jumps himself out of last position. Hands it over to Martin Leadham, Furrow Stargazer. So they go over the seventh. Oh, we lost one there. Banco's gone. You could have banked on that being a fall up. It was a top weight, and he's out of it. So it only gives Martin. Just the one horse left in here. Keep his run going in the hunter chases. Picking up the last. We go over the eighth as we go through the woods. They're all still on their feet, although I'm pretty sure Walter Clock Deal didn't jump it well. But the Delamares are leading us. Sol and uh, Bill. <laughs> about a length and a half from Walter Clock Deal. And about a further three back to Need a Miracle Exhale Formation. LP Pius and Teasel scores all together. And a further three or four lengths back to Glen Sheen Parks, Deacon Blues, Petrocelli, Mare and Furrow, Furrow, Stargazer. We can't see as they go over the ninth, so they're halfway through the fences here. The ones that are standing got, all got over it. And we're now being led just by Ballard Delamere from Solway Delamere. Over the tenth, poor jump by Solway Delamere. They'll get over that. It's allowed a Ballard Delamere to have a three or four length advantage. They go off for another circuit now. We get to the 11th. Leaders are all over it, including the Tal and Charlie. Far own Stargazer. It's one of the seven fences to take. A mile to travel to get to the ditch. So the time tunnel was there on the last race. It's not there this time. So hopefully we won't lose you know, any horses. So it's Ballard Delamere from Water Clock Deal. Solway Delamere. They one, two, three. Melby Pius, the blue silks of formation. X out, Teasel scores, the grey is still there. They'll take the 13th, everybody's over it. And they change up front, it's still Ballard de la Mer from Water Clock Deal. Formation moving up on the inside now. Blue silks of Daniel French. Moves into third from Solway de la Mer in fourth. They get to the 14th, the leaders are all over it. This is the rest, including Little Furrow Stargazer. So it's Ballard de la Mer by a length and a half to Water Clock Deal in formation. Length further back to Solway de la Mer. They go to the 15th. Four from home. Three to jump and half a mile to travel. And it's still Ballard de la Mer from a formation in second. Running on now well is Solway de la Mer. The Greys looking ominous. Teasel scores on the outside for Davy Led Stables. They're also running out of the pack now is Need a Miracle. But they go over the 16th. That's three from home. They all jump it. 
just and it's still Ballard de la Mer, but on his outside Teasel scores the grey going the long way round formation's got a plum right on the inside but these three are starting to pull away from the rest the other one that's trying to run on now is Need a Miracle but up front is Ballard de la Mer. Teasel scores on formation Teasel scores takes over Ballard de la Mer gives way so it's Teasel scores on formation with a furlong and a half to go it's Teasel scores on formation both under a lot of pressure now but it's Teasel scores that gets the length of the to go to the 17th takes it well poor jump there by Ballard de la Mer. Teasel scores is out on his own now and got a length and a half of orange get over the last and hardly a run in running on well is need a miracle formation's not got enough left he gets over it Teasel scores takes it the Davy led stables nip down into the hunter chases take two out of three so far another win for David Robertson and well done to Teasel Scours takes the Chattersley Corbett Cup the Davy led stables by about five lengths from formation uh, Daniel French running on well was need a miracle for Paul Rhodes who turned up at third LB Pius for Thomas Rogers was fourth and Ballard Delamere for Alex Cherry managed to hang on to fifth so we'll move on to our last race of the day which is race number 38 and our last hunter of the week